of two times tonight. Outstanding student participation. A whiteout was the mandated attire tonight. Well, helping to accessorize. Our starting lineups are brought to you once again by Unleaded 88, Engine Smart, Earth Kind. And the Huskers will be wearing black tonight, by the way. And keep an eye on just about everybody on the floor for the Huskers. We can spotlight Andy Jackson, who's leading the nation in hit percentage. For Wisconsin, center Charlie Ferbringer is a true freshman and is a big part of the reason why Wisconsin has clicked and gone on a nine-game win streak. The libero, Lola Schumacher, is a freshman as well. So very young for the Badgers defensively, but very experienced up front. And we are ready to rumble inside the historic UW Fieldhouse. A matchup that you've had circled on your calendar, Emily, since the schedule came out. Freshman Olivia Mount gets us going, serving. And she serves her counterpart, Schumacher, the other freshman with the floor. Crowd will tell you what happened there. Sarah Franklin, her first kill of the night. Point, Wisconsin. Franklin making it look easy right out of the gates. This is why she's such a good attacker. She makes difficult plays look easy and puts the ball on the floor every time. Furbringer serving and probably the most intimidating front line in the country on the floor right now. Franklin, Smreck, and Booth. Franklin is the shortest player in the front row for the Badgers at 6-4. Here's her second swing of the ball game, a roll shot dug by Bergen Riley, the Nebraska setter. Schumacher the dig on the Harper Murray swing. Franklin is blocked. Point Nebraska. Nebraska has to continue when Wisconsin is out of system, getting that big block up against Sarah Franklin up front, because if it's not perfectly formed, Sarah Franklin can go off it every time. Lexi Rodriguez, three-time All-American serves for the Huskers. Furbringer sets Smrek. Point, Wisconsin. Franklin serves. Riley sets Merritt Beeson. Schumacher the dig. Sprack tight to the net, and Nebraska's block ready and waiting. Sprack doing her best job going right off the block and out of bounds. John Cook, of course, was the coach of the Wisconsin Badgers from 1992 to 1998. He played pickup basketball right here inside the Wisconsin Fieldhouse back in the days when there was a hardwood floor in here. Basketball programs also called this home. Said some of the most competitive pickup basketball games he's ever played in took place right here. He also was so excited to come back. He kind of milled around campus for a little bit, said hey to some old friends before practice started. A lot looser than you normally see John Cook in this building. Absolutely. Beeson serves with the Huskers down one in the first set. Yulia Orgel takes her first swing of the match. Point Wisconsin off a touch. Wisconsin's outsides are both so lethal using the block up front. Nebraska's very disciplined on their block, but they have to do a better job going low and over rather than high. Schumacher serves for Wisconsin. Off the tape, Rodriguez keeps it up. On the slide, Andy Jackson. It's dug by Franklin. Smreck down the line. Murray at the net, blocked. Kept alive by Carolyn Crawford. Smreck off some hands. Beeson with a great dig. Murray again, off the block. Smreck, cross court, out of bounds. Point Nebraska. Both head coaches on the floor tonight have had milestone wins this season. They've each become the winningest head coach in their respective program's history. Kelly Sheffield, the three-time Big Ten Coach of the Year. Murray serves, great dig by Schumacher, but it's an overpass cleaned up by Andy Jackson. Too easy for the sophomore. With all the star power on both Nebraska and Wisconsin side, this match could be one in the middle, especially with Andy Jackson on Nebraska's side. When she gets hot, she is nearly unstoppable. Wisconsin has to defend her better. She's been hot all season, Emily. A 472 hit percentage tops in the country. 
point, Wisconsin Smrek with the answer for the Badgers. Not much you can do when 6-9 and a Smrek goes up and hits over your block. That was actually a defensive focus for Nebraska in practice this week. If Smrek is able to go up over the block, middle back has to read that and get behind the shoulders to take that shot away. Guljay Guchtikin, the junior from Turkey, serves. She serves Murray. Taylor Landfair tries a roll shot, and the Badgers were not fooled. Roll shots are not going to win in this matchup, especially when you're playing the physical Wisconsin team. It has to be swing for swing and punch for punch. Tap down by Crawford for good measure, and Guchtikin serves again. She serves Laney Choboy. Jackson, tough angle on the swing, and she caught a piece of the Wisconsin block as well. This slide connection between Andy Jackson and Bergen Riley has been so impressive this season. It's one of the most difficult connections to get down because you're going behind as a setter. You can't see where that hitter is. You just have to trust that they're there and get rep after rep to practice it. We showed it before the match all of the All-Americans on the floor for both teams. Jackson. Again, just a sophomore, was not an All-American last season, but she's having an All-American caliber season this year as a sophomore. Orgel on the pass from Devin Robinson. Badgers keep it alive. On the free ball, Landfair. Met again. This is not a team that you can afford those kind of errors. Back-to-back -back tips right into the block. You have to stay aggressive against this physical Wisconsin team. Tips are not going to win this matchup. Landfair is certainly no stranger to this environment. Played four seasons for the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Another arch rival of the Badgers. Orgel serves Choboy. Bergen Riley back to Landfair. She offers up a fastball that Guchtikin keeps up. Franklin. Becca Alec denied, but out of bounds. Point Nebraska. Nebraska's game plan very clear. Run a lot behind the setter, especially in the two hitter rotations when you have the middle going on a slide, meaning they're going on a quick tempo set behind the setter. It's been lethal every time. Bergen Riley serves Orgel overpass. Mary Beeson, it's dug by Orgel, Wisconsin's libero last year, and an illegal touch by broadcaster Emily Eman blows that point dead. That was close, come on. No, I think it was clean, you're right. However, point Nebraska, and we're even in this first set. It's my time to shine. Still got great hands. Yeah, just a little roll shot. <laughs> Orgel for Franklin. Franklin with one kill so far, make it two. Even with a triple block up in front of Sarah Franklin, she still finds a way around it. Nebraska hasn't put up a triple block this entire season. This was something they pulled out of their pocket for this matchup specifically because of how good Franklin is as an attacker. Yeah, you don't break out a triple block for just anybody. No, you do not. Carolyn Crawford serves Landfair. Back to Landfair. Off the Wisconsin block, point Nebraska. Much better adjustments from Taylor Landfair on the past few swings, going for that high shot either right at the block or ripping it through a seam. Much better than the early off speeds. Cook telling her right there, you got to swing. Nebraska started in this rotation. Franklin blocked down on Wisconsin side of the net. Point Huskers. Really great read from middle Rebecca Alec on this ball. Inside sets, Sarah Franklin loves to rip those cross court. So Rebecca Alec dropped that inside hand for the stuff. Check out this inside. Really good setup from Beeson. Franklin is served again from the rafters. There's the triple block. Block down inbounds, that's a point for Nebraska. Such a great time to pull out this triple block because out of system, it's almost always going to Sarah Franklin when she's in the front court. Now she has to make the adjustment in game to figure out how to go around it. A great early move by John Cook in Nebraska. Franklin with two kills and two errors in the first set. That ball was pummeled by Carter Booth, the junior middle blocker. Another Minnesota transfer, but wearing white tonight. Been so effective offensively for the Badgers when they're in the system. They love to get the middles going, and Booth is really good up front, in front of the setter. 
Here's Charlie Furbringer, the top setter in the country, coming out of Hermosa Beach, California. Alec is stopped. Carter Booth ready and waiting. A heck of a read from Carter Booth up front. Perfect pass. Nebraska loves to run their middles. Great read and good discipline from Booth up front, not to go anywhere until she saw where that ball was going. Charlie Furbringer was a huge factor in Wisconsin straight sets win against number 10 Purdue on Saturday. That first set in particular was only 25-23. An 11 point serving run for Furbringer really helped decide that set and the match. Franklin gets it done, point Wisconsin. This is Wisconsin's physicality at its finest. A player like Sarah Franklin able to go up and over some of the best blockers in the country. Watch how high she gets up here. It's not a seam. She's going clear over it. Three straight for the Badgers. They lead in the first, and Furbringer, she can get hot behind the serving line. Beeson tipped at the net, a joust. And Alec wins the one-on-one, -on -one, Point Nebraska. You love to see those 50-50 plays up at the net, especially when you have two physical players up there. It comes down to grit, and who's willing to push just a little bit harder? This time, left side of your screen, Alec just shuts it down. Rodriguez getting the Civ chant from the Wisconsin student section. Smrack is stopped. Smrack and Andy Jackson meet in the middle. I mean, it has been a one-on-one -on -one battle in the middle already. Both sides making incredible reads. This time, Jackson, knowing that Smack wants to hit this ball back to zone one, incredible. Rodriguez, the two-time Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year, serves long. Good eye by Franklin in the back row. It's her turn to serve now. That's the first service error of the match. Murray, cross-court kill and a beauty for the Big Ten Freshman of the Year last year. This is a rotation where Harper Murray is especially going to have to use the block and be aggressive. You have Carter Booth, who stands at 6'7", alongside Anna Smrek, who stands at 6'9". You have to make sure you're hitting your seams well and hitting high. Merritt Beeson. Furbringer sets Smrek. Down the back row for a Wisconsin point. This is a new look that we're seeing from Wisconsin for the first time this season in row two. Anna Smrek normally hits on the back pin as a high right side attacker, but now they're keeping her in front to just mess with Nebraska's defense a little bit more. Smrek with four kills to lead the Badgers. Schumacher serves. That's out. Point Nebraska. Wisconsin making it a point to try to attack zone one, meaning right back, regardless of who's back there, even if it's Lexi Rodriguez, who's one of the best passers in the entire country. What that does is it makes Bergen Riley take this ball behind her head, and it's really difficult to get the middle going in that situation. Harper Murray. Smrek on the right side. Great dig by Choboy. Free ball, Wisconsin. It nearly cost him. Sprek is blocked. Landfair and Jackson ready and waiting at the pin. Nebraska's defense doing what they do best. You think the ball is down. All of a sudden, someone comes stepping in. Lady Choboy this time in the backcourt. Come on, girl. Are you kidding me? Five blocks for the Huskers already in the rate to bring it to you on the Big Ten Network. Emily Eamon, Chris Foster's and about 7,500 raucous fans in Madison, Wisconsin. Yulia Orgel crafty off the block and a big point for the Badgers out of the timeout. Really good response for Wisconsin right out of the timeout, nailing the pass. Both sides doing a nice job passing. Both offenses have been in system at a high clip. Orgel's second kill of the match. And Guchtikin lets it fly. It was a bad pass by Harper Murray. Nebraska out of system. They offer a free ball. Furbringer sets Franklin from the back row. Overpass. Badgers another crack at it. Orgel cross court kill. Julia Orgel is so good in these out of system situations when she has two big blockers up in front of her. She's got so much finesse. 
work so hard to get off the net, and even with that good block, takes a little bit of speed off of it just to place it perfectly in the corner. Now a senior. Good serve by Guchtikin. Jackson slide attack stuffed. Landfair dug by Guchtikin. Franklin, Choboy. Murray, a brilliant read, and the point for Nebraska. High IQ play from Harper Murray, but man, the defense on Wisconsin side just laying out for that. Check out this read from Guljay Guchtikin in the backcourt, taking it away from Sarah Franklin so she can go hit, but then it's just that intensity on Nebraska's side. Such a good read from Harper Murray, knowing exactly where to place this tip. Kennedy Orr in to serve for the Huskers. Bad pass by Orgel, and Franklin's roll shot is blocked. Point Nebraska. Nebraska already up to six blocks, and we're not even through the first set. Wisconsin has to do a better job of swinging high rather than right down into it. And it was Wisconsin's block that came into this match. Lights out, averaging 3.9 blocks per set on their nine-game win streak. And from Kennedy Orr. That was a heck of a serve from the serving sub coming in. It's exactly what you got to do. Step in and hit a bullet back there. Huskers by three. That feels like a big lead in this neck and neck first set. Timeout. The is unmatched. It's like watching Alabama and Georgia play in football. There's always massive implications on both sides. And the fans are used to winning as well. Kennedy Orr had the match's first ace before the Wisconsin timeout. Devin Robinson runs the slide, or with the dig. Murray out of bounds, point Wisconsin. That's an error that you're okay with, because Murray's back there being aggressive and barely missing down the sideline, but almost perfectly placing that right there. Didn't miss by much. And Yulia Orgel serves it up. Over to Landfair. She tools the block. Point Nebraska. Really nice adjustment from Landfair. Really targeting that high deep corner, splitting the left back and middle back defenders. Watch the height that she hits this ball at too. Trying to target Charlie Furbringer a little bit shorter of a blocker up front for Wisconsin. Bergen Riley serves. Out of bounds. Point Wisconsin. This is where it becomes so important to keep the ball in play, both from the service line and on attack up front. When your team is nearing the red zone, meaning from point 20 on in the match, you have to play as clean as possible because a game to five can go over in a blink. Here's Crawford serving. Landfair gets it back, and that's through the hands of Julia Orgel. Point Nebraska. Lanther's doing a phenomenal job attacking the corners. This time on the right side of the court, she normally lines up as a left side attacker, but doing the exact same thing from the opposite side. Lanther, the Big Ten Player of the Year two years ago, coming to Nebraska for her graduate season. At the net, Furbringer keeps it on Wisconsin's side. Booth calls for it and passes to Franklin. She hit it over the triple block that time. It was dug by Mauk. Schumacher with the dig from the net. Furbringer passes to Guchtikin. Franklin. Booth was ready, but some contact with the net and a point for Nebraska. Nebraska's block has been stifling against Wisconsin, but Wisconsin's not making the proper adjustments. They're continuing to hit off speeds right down to the top of the tape. Of course that ball is going to come right back at you. Huskers by four. Nebraska because it is stifling right now. Nebraska's season high in blocks came in their season opener against Kentucky way back on August 27th. They had 18 blocks in that four set match. Certainly on pace to eclipse that. Not even through a full set here in Madison. Mauk serves long and the Badgers with a much needed point out of another timeout. Really good timeout taken by head coach Kelly Sheffield, not allowing Nebraska to go on too much of a run this late in the set. And now Wisconsin back to their best rotation with Smrek, Booth, and Franklin up front. 
Nebraska hitting 259 in the first set. Badgers are under 100. Really impressive start for Nebraska as Furbringer serves it into the net and the Huskers get that service error right back. And those are the errors that you can't have late in sets when you're trying to claw your way back and the opponent's closing in on a set win. Here's Rodriguez, and that's a shank by Schumacher. An ace for Rodriguez. Nebraska putting in all kinds of service pressure from the end line, doing such a nice job, picking apart Wisconsin serve receive, serving the seams really well. And when they get hot back there, it's tough to stop. That was a laser from Rodriguez. Franklin off the block, backed up by Rodriguez. Jackson set in the middle, Furbringer is there. Over to Smrek, dug by Malk. Dug by Orgel. Here's Franklin, blocked. Again, Franklin, off some hands, point Wisconsin. Really good adjustment from Franklin on that. Gets blocked on the first one, second one takes just a little bit higher to go up off the hands. A much better shot. That one blocked this time, swinging a little bit higher, even though the set was tighter. Really surprising stat line for Sarah Franklin. Four kills and five errors. And the Huskers have set point. <laughs> Merritt Beeson has Played some of her best matches against Wisconsin, both as a Husker and as a Florida Gator. She serves for the set. Badgers have life. Lola Schumacher. Jackson out of bounds, point Wisconsin. All of a sudden, door cracked open just a little more for the Badgers, and it's going to come back from the end line. Service pressure is going to be key here. Timeout, Nebraska. Badgers have made this a three-point margin very late in the first set, but if, if Nebraska takes this first set, Wisconsin could certainly roll some momentum over into the second set, otherwise it, it's... ...for the postseason of who wins this match specifically. All eyes in the college volleyball world, maybe even the game as a whole, on this match in Madison tonight. Badgers trying to extend the set. Beeson from the back row terminates. And that's a wrap for the first set. Nebraska getting it done with defense, putting on a blocking clinic up front, holding the Badgers to about 100 hitting percentage. Tonight, Penn State 12-0 after starting the week with a win against Michigan and following that up with a win against Iowa tonight. What do you think when you look at this big picture? I mean, it feels like there's three teams that have really separated themselves from the pack. Those top three, Penn State, Nebraska, and Wisconsin. Then you've got a lot of teams right in the middle that are either fighting for NCAA seeding, so Oregon, Purdue, Minnesota trying to host the first two rounds of the tournament. And then you've got a whole bunch in the middle trying to get to the postseason and make the NCAA tournament for the first time in a few years. I think 10 teams out of the conference could make the tournament? Uh, right now, it looks like potentially 10, 11, maybe 12 teams could make it, depending on how they finish. Crazy. Crazy from last year, thinking about only five teams made it. Charlie Furbringer serves to start the second set. Beeson picks up right where she left off. The final point of the first set and the first point of the second set. Nebraska is passing incredibly well. Wisconsin has gotten so much better throughout their serve throughout the season. But Nebraska is just handling it. 25-21 the score in the first set, but no one had a run of more than three straight points. It was pretty even. Furbringer sets all the way over to Franklin, and she tools the block, point Wisconsin. 
During set one, Nebraska held Sarah Franklin to hitting zero, which does not happen very often for a player that hits over 300 during conference play. She's got to continue to heat up. Franklin hitting 295 for the season, nearly identical to her National Player of the Year season where she hit 298. That's long, and a point for Nebraska. Badgers felt there was a touch. You gotta be pretty sure that there was a touch on that if you're gonna challenge it. Kelly Sheffield was not buying Sarah Franklin's argument. We play on. Based on seeing it live, it did look like it was clear over. Merritt Beeson serves. Franklin flies in, and there was definitely a touch there. That's one adjustment that the Badgers have to make this set. Because they got roofed six times during set one, Wisconsin has to do a better job of swinging high rather than right down into it. Yeah, they did take a block off Nebraska's line from the first set, so six blocks for the Huskers in the first. Harper Murray. Furbringer to Smrek. Jackson blocked out of bounds. Point Nebraska. Nebraska's middle is doing a phenomenal job making themselves available at all times. Jackson's doing so well running behind the setter on these slide attacks and swinging it right off the block for the tool. Harper Murray serves. Over to Orgel. Jackson. And the block wins that battle for Wisconsin. Really great read on Wisconsin side. Cece Crawford doing such a good job exploding to her outside, going up and getting those hands over so fast. Watch how far these hands are over the net. It's like her elbows almost passed there. <laughs> Gould J. Guchtikin now. Served well in the first set for Wisconsin. Right back to the slide, and the ball is pummeled by Andy Jackson. I mean, there's just nothing a defense can do when you've got a slide attack that looks like that. Normally, when you serve zone one and right back, setters don't like to set this behind their head. Bergen Riley does it because she's just that good, and it looks perfect. Her college career got off to a promising start, but John Cook was asked about Andy Jackson this week and said that now she's got a year under her belt of playing high-level volleyball, and you have seen her take a huge leap in her sophomore season. A lot of that, too. She added three inches to her vertical. She touches 10-10. Harper Murray ends up seated on Nebraska's bench. Wisconsin wins that point. Tied at four in the second. Here's Orgel. Great dig by Guchtikin. Badgers offer a free ball. Landfair blocked. Point Nebraska off the Wisconsin touch. Nebraska's doing such a nice job swinging high at the hands for Wisconsin because of how physical they are. The backcourt defense of Wisconsin getting everything up. The offense just having a hard time connecting. Bergen Riley pacing the Big Ten with 11.25 assists per set this season. Tremendous numbers. Murray flies in from the back row. Over to Franklin, a roll shot blocked, but dug by Guchtikin. Pushed out of bounds. A mistake for the Huskers. I don't hate that play from Rebecca Alec. Trying to do something smart with it. Push it to the corner. If anything, you at least get Wisconsin out of system. Just barely missing on the execution. Carolyn Crawford. Beeson off the block, dug by Crawford. Franklin blocked. Franklin again. Cross court kill. Really smart decision.
decision here for Sarah Franklin. The first ball that she put into the block, we call that a recycle ball. That means that it touches off the block, but she knows the coverage is there, so they're able to transition that into another play. She gets the second one knowing it's going to be a better swing for her. Landfair dug by Crawford. Guchtikin underneath it. Franklin denied, and there was clear net contact there. Point Nebraska. A few net calls on Wisconsin already. We saw what happened at the end of the first time these two teams met last season. Entire match ended on a net call. You have to be more disciplined than that. A little anticlimactic, but yeah. <laughs> Nebraska certainly wouldn't care. complain. <laughs> yeah. There's a bad pass, and the Huskers are now up eight to six. Correction, seven to six. <laughs> Nearly an ace from Malk. Beeson drops that one in, and a collision between Gushikin and Furbringer. Nebraska is doing a really nice job when they are throwing in tips. They're placing it perfectly. This one going barely over the blocker's head, right to a spot where the defense has to talk about it. That's long. Point, Wisconsin. Nebraska's fifth service error already. They have to do a little bit better job on the end line keeping those balls in play. You can see Furbringer, she collided with Guchtikin a couple of points ago and still getting sorted out here. Beeson, a drive, point Nebraska, it was touched. The biggest key for Nebraska coming in was how do they match up with the physicality of Wisconsin. What they're doing well is not being scared of the block, but actually using it as a tool to score. Huskers showing that first set was no fluke. Continuing to play better than Wisconsin here early in the second set. Another point for Nebraska on the attack error by Franklin. Line judge getting a little piece of that one. Like square in the back. Yeah. Got Not out of the way. Up at all. <laughs> Just the occupational hazard of being a line judge. Slide attack long. Point Nebraska. Now back to back errors for Wisconsin. They have to make the switch right now. Keep the ball in play. Rodriguez serves Orgel. Furbringer sets Smrek. Was she setting Smrek or maybe intended for Franklin there? The Badgers out of sync. And the passes have been good. The sets have just been off. Huskers have won 17 straight. Badgers have won nine straight. Both teams coming in with a lot of momentum, playing their best volleyball of the season. And Anna Smrek with the answer out of the timeout. That's her fifth kill. And both teams have been heating up at the right time. Wisconsin had a pretty shaky start to non-conference play, but pretty much every statistical category has gotten better since. And Nebraska, after dropping one match early on in the season, they've just been heating up. Point Nebraska. Mary Beeson really swinging well. Mary Beeson has been phenomenal, and Bergen Riley really getting things going behind the setter, whether it's on a slide attack or Beeson right behind. And check out that balance. This is what makes Bergen Riley such a good setter. Even if the passes aren't perfect, she finds a way to keep all of her hitters involved in the offense. A lot of mouths to feed with an offense like Nebraska. Orgel off the block. Beeson tried to keep it alive. It's a point, Wisconsin. And it's been an outside show for Wisconsin. Almost every single ball feels like it's going outside to either Orgel or Franklin out there. Nebraska doing a pretty good job defending it. This time, Orgel just better going over the top. Lola Schumacher waiting on some perspiration to be mopped up off the floor. Wisconsin, that's 
slide has been pretty potent for Nebraska tonight. Not there. Nebraska is going to continue to run it, but Orgel has done a really nice job setting up these blocks, doing the exact same movements that Jackson is doing to get right in front of it. May have gone out of bounds had it not touched Jackson. Beeson is stopped. Crawford bringing the energy in the middle with some help from Sprack. Nothing will get your team going like back-to-back -back blocks. They are the highest momentum play in volleyball. That was the juice that the Badgers needed. Schumacher trying to sustain it. Murray fires one. so hard to keep the ball off the floor so the offense can run. They're doing it time and time again, laying out for it. But that offense up front, they have to do a better job of keeping the ball in play because defense can only get you so far. Here's Harper Murray. Franklin from the back row. Nearly an outstanding dig by Choboy, but the Badgers get the point. Normally those plays do not fall on Nebraska's side. They scoop them up pretty easily. A risky move for Franklin to put in this roll shot, but it was perfectly placed right over the block, right in front of the defenders. Nine kills for Sarah Franklin. First team all Big Ten player when her college career began at Michigan State. She's blossomed into a national player of the year candidate. With some help from Bull Jay Guchikin behind the serving line. An ace. All of a sudden, Wisconsin 6-1 scoring run, and we're back tied. Wisconsin's first ace of the match. Landfair, long, point Wisconsin. The Badgers at one point in the set, down five points. That tells you how greedy they are to continue to stay locked in and chip away. Guchnikin has been Wisconsin's best server tonight. She took something off it. Jackson hammers that ball, but off the block. And how about this read? Julia Orgel again up front, mirroring the slide perfectly, getting her middle involved, shutting down one of the most efficient attackers in the nation. That's certainly not as big as Wisconsin's block can get, but they are mighty efficient right now. Coming up big again. Crawford running the middle for Wisconsin. The Badgers' fifth block of this set alone, completely flipping the script from set one. Utterly. Nebraska does not have a block in the second set. And they are jumping around inside the field house. Tide has definitely turned here, still with time in the second set. Sarah Franklin is tonight's state of success, brought to you by State Farm. This is very interesting because you compare her numbers through 19 matches from this season and last season. Last season, she went on to be named AVCA National Player of the Year. Her numbers in the right-hand column are better at the same moment in the season than they were last year. They've significantly better. 4.4 kills per set versus 3.8, and all around her defense especially really improved this season as well. And offensively, she's so, she is so much craftier. She hits better shots than we saw her hit last year. It was a lot of just cross-court and corner last season. Now she throws in really crafty off speeds going right into the middle of the court. Her back row attack has really picked up as well. This is a player that is well on her way to potentially two-peat as national player of the year. She, like the Badgers, has flipped her script from the first set to the second set. Kills up, errors down. Franklin closing in on 1,200 career kills as a Badger. Crowd serenading us with Build Me Up Buttercup. Badgers have built up a 5-0 run here. Franklin the dig. 
Crawford has to free ball it over. What a dig by Guchnikin. Blocked by Landfair. And Landfair finishes the job. High IQ play from Taylor Landfair up front. The defense sucked in on Wisconsin side. That opened a ton in the backcourt. We're seeing right now the defensive intensity pick up on both sides. Incredible up from Franklin. And then Guchikin later on in the rally, another good up from her as well. Kennedy Orr in to serve. She's giving the Badgers some problems tonight. Schumacher digs it. Orgel blocked, dug by Franklin. Orgel again, cross court, Doug Choboy. Landfair with the kill, her sixth. Sarah Landfair is doing a really nice job. As that second outside, normally Harper Murray gets set a lot more on the front and the back court. So that means Landfair is getting a lot of junk balls when the block knows exactly where it's going, and she still manages to find kills against the double block. Huskers serving the tie in the second. Devin Robinson, what a save by Choboy. Furbringer fools the Huskers. A center kill. Lady Choboy making plays that make your jaw drop. You think the ball is down. She comes flying out of the rafters just to keep this ball alive. Impressive pancake, and then such a good read on Wisconsin side. A sneaky dump right to the middle of the court. Orgel serves Choboy out of play. A serve. It's Landfair, another kill. That's a heck of a shot from Taylor Landfair. About eight feet off the net, but she turned that right thumb down. The only shot that she could hit was cross court, beautifully placed. Husker's not going anywhere. Bergen Riley with the serve. Franklin. Riley sets Beeson. Point, Nebraska. Merritt Beeson up to her eighth kill on the night, doing such a nice job going for that deep corner shot. It's a really good transition play, splitting the defenders in the back row. She's just hitting insanely efficiently tonight. She has the best offensive numbers of anyone on the floor tonight. Eight kills and just one error. She's hitting 500. Franklin. It's somehow still alive. Nebraska doing what it does best. Crowd thought it was a point. The pin is contacted. And a point for the Huskers. Again, the Huskers getting a jaw dropping up on their side. Lexi Rodriguez with such an impressive up. Comes out of nowhere. Pancakes this ball to keep it alive. The defensive intensity has been insane on both sides. And the Huskers are not letting the Badgers off the hook. Timeout, Wisconsin. With the second set knotted up at. Sides have to play as clean as possible because Wisconsin right now, they should be way up in this. They have five blocks in this set. Seven of Nebraska's hitting errors have come from those blocks, but Wisconsin is just hitting the ball out of bounds. Nine kills, six errors. Those are things you cannot do from here on out. One of the many appealing aspects of this match. So many All-Americans on the floor. So many All-Big Ten honorees. I mean, look at this. We're not just talking about All-Americans. We're talking about multiple-year All-Americans. Nine All-Americans combined between Nebraska and Wisconsin. This is another reason why this matchup is always so fun, because the star power is a plenty. Bergen Riley certainly on her way to a second All-American season. She's back behind the line to serve. That ball popped over, but a point for Nebraska. 
such an incredible read. Taylor Landfair really upping her game here in the second set, this time defensively up front, setting up the block really well, getting her middle, Rebecca Alec, involved on the play. Here's the first to 20. Franklin, that was touched, kept alive by Murray. Landfair into the net. This is not the time to go to those off speeds. Late in sets, you're not going to win the match by tipping. You have to continue to swing all out because that's what's been working for Landfair up front. Neither team has a timeout remaining in the second set. Carolyn Crawford picking out her spot. Landfair, long. Point, Wisconsin. Those back-to-back -back plays, Landfair has to play cleaner. Everyone does on Nebraska's side. Crawford has really given Wisconsin a spark defensively in the second set. That was a clean kill for Landfair. That shows you how much confidence Morgan Riley has in her outside attacker after those errors goes right back to her. This time a much better swing. Great ball delivered from Riley, allows that seam to happen. Strong swing right through it. Here's Olivia Malk. A serve for Malk. Malk perfectly placing that one right between the serve receive passers. Making him talk about it, a miscommunication happening on Wisconsin side. Malk played for the Badgers in high school. That was her high school's mascot out of Bennington High School in Nebraska. A big dig for Malk there. Murray with the kill. At this point in the set, these are where Harper Murray just turns it up a level. She has big swings after big swing. She becomes a person that Nebraska can rely on in these big moments. They know they can go to her. Four kills for Murray. Malk serves. Dug by Malk on the free ball. Alex stuffs Furbringer, and the Nebraska coaching staff leaps to its feet. One of the best reads that we've seen all night. Furbringer tight to the net. Alec did a great job staying right in front of it. Those are the high-level plays you need late in sets. Carter Booth gets that one to drop. play for Booth. Set wasn't quite there. She had to adjust her arm swing mid-set. Easy tip right over the block. Now Wisconsin back to their strongest rotation. Franklin Smrek and Booth up front. Furbinger's got to do work from the service line. Beeson. She ends the second set like she did the first. It's 2-0 Huskers. You could feel the confidence radiating from the Nebraska bench right now. Huskers looking around, thinking it's kind of quiet. Merritt Beeson goes trip to USC and UCLA. Merritt Beeson. As you mentioned, so efficient. Nine kills, just one error in the match. Mara Beeson has been absolutely fantastic. Hitting above 500. So, yeah, she's putting up nine kills, but she's doing it incredibly efficiently. Even with a really big block up in front of her, she's doing a nice job seeing where they're at, going off hand, throwing in a roll shot, just completely taking over for this team. That's exactly what you need out of your veteran players in a caliber match like this. She loves playing Wisconsin. Had 21 kills against the Badgers last season and was named National Player of the Week. Also had 21 kills when she was a member of the Florida Gators program. And Florida came to Madison. They played that match in the Kohl Center. And Beeson went off for 21 kills against Wisconsin in that tilt also. Olivia Malk has been serving tough, and she opens the third set with an ace.
Nebraska's been doing a really good job from the service line, targeting zone one, that right back of the court. Doesn't matter who's been back there, the Huskers are going after it. Four aces for Nebraska, two for Wisconsin tonight. And Malk, who could be the libero of the future for the Huskers after Lexi Rodriguez graduates. A great DS for now. She digs Carter Booth. Harper Murray a tip. Franklin Ooh, plants that one in front of Harper Murray. Harper Murray's lucky she up in time. Based on how fast that ball was coming, check out the speed that Sarah Franklin's hitting this ball at. Set left inside. You got to get those hands up fast. Franklin's 10th kill of the night, and she serves this one into play. Murray blocks, but out of bounds, and a point for Nebraska. There was pin contact as well. I love the way Harper Murray's playing completely fearless up front, even with a massive block in front of her, 6'9 and 6'7. She is using it to her advantage. She is not scared of that at all. Here's Lexi Rodriguez. Sprack out of bounds. Point Nebraska. Nebraska's defense has been so good, it's forcing Wisconsin to try to hit this ball in spots that they don't want to hit. That's why we've seen this team be a little bit more high air than what we've seen over the past few. A serve Rodriguez. Nebraska continuing to force that zone one, this time Lexi Rodriguez on the back line. She's just part of a... Saturday night volleyball comes your way tomorrow. UCLA, Oregon. Live coverage begins at 11 Eastern, 8 Pacific. Only on the Big Ten Network and the Fox Sports app. Tell you what, that uh, net is dividing a lot right now. You look at the expressions, the demeanor emanating from both the Wisconsin right now. It is night and day. Orgel blocked. Smrek terminates right down the line. Point, Wisconsin. Smrek has had trouble over her past few swings, just keeping the ball in place. She's still hitting negative, trying to claw her way out of that. But Charlie Furbringer trying to continue to get her going and get that confidence up. Nebraska took the first set 25-21. It felt like the second set was going to be Wisconsin's to win. And Nebraska closed strong and won 25-22. Now the Badgers are on the ropes in their home gym. Andy Jackson off a touch. Point Nebraska. Morgan Riley is doing such an incredible job as a setter. When the ball is coming from right back, it's incredibly hard to get your middles involved in the play because you can't see them while you're setting them. So she just has to trust that Jackson is right there. She's putting the ball in a perfect spot for Jackson to go attack. Merritt Beeson serves just off the tape. Overpass hammered by Jackson. Now Nebraska having a little bit more momentum. Wisconsin service team has to do a better job keeping this off the net, even 10 feet off for Bringer can run the offense. Beeson serves Schumacher. Spreck off the block, kept alive by Rodriguez. That one eats up Schumacher. Point for Harper Murray and the Huskers. Harper Murray continuing to take rip after whip, rip. So much confidence just exuding in that sophomore outside. Not afraid of anything in front of her. Murray with six kills. Very balanced distribution of offense for Nebraska tonight. They still do not have a player in double figures for kills, although Beeson is close with nine. Spreck puts it away. Point, Wisconsin. Really nice adjustment comes from Rack mid-air. Not the set that looked like she could hit that at full extension, so she changed her arm swing right in the middle of it to put a tip in right over the block. Guchtikin serves. Beeson long. Just her second error of the night, Point, Wisconsin. She's human. <laughs> it's easy to remember. I mean, there have hardly been errors for Beeson tonight. What's the 
Murray off the block. Furbringer sets Franklin out of the back row. That's in. Point Wisconsin. Those are the plays that Wisconsin has to find a way to capitalize on. Maybe it's not a perfect situation, but you have to better the ball. Furbringer did a really nice job getting this ball in a position where Franklin could go up and attack it. It's a heck of a slice. Murray, the block was ready and waiting. Kuchikin with the pancake save. Trouble for Nebraska. Furbringer sets up shop. Crawford blocked. Guchkikin wears it again. Orgel off the high hands. Riley, Jackson, dug again by Guchkikin. Orgel down the line. That's it. Point Wisconsin. Gul J. Guchkikin three times during that rally alone. Coming in, scooping this ball up. You can't really score points on backcourt defense, but she finds a way to keep the ball alive and give her offense other opportunities to score. MVP of that rally. Badgers have ripped off four in a row, but Gushkin puts it into the net. It's 8-6 Huskers serving with the lead in the third. This is where it becomes tough. Right when your team gets momentum, you cannot hit a serve right to the bottom of the tape. That'll kill it more than anything. Harper Murray throws it up. Orgel dug by Murray. Landfair, the free ball. Furbringer, Crawford on the slide, down the line, point Wisconsin. It's not oftentimes you see CC Crawford going back on the slide and scoring back there, but that connection looked really good between Furbringer and Crawford. Running it off of that free ball, a little give and go. Crawford's first kill of the night and 70th of the season, averaging one kill per set. Orgel into the net, another service error for Wisconsin. And that's back to back in the bottom of the tape. Those are the errors that you cannot have. The ones that go out, you're okay with because at least it gives the other team a chance to play it. The bottom of the tape, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Wisconsin has not been high error in this match, just their fourth but two here in the third. Kennedy or Franklin, point Wisconsin. The Badgers need a lot more of that. Can they get Sarah Franklin going with tempo when this pass is good? That allows only one blocker up. Impressive finish. Big night and big weekend in the Crawford household. CeCe's brother plays for the Iowa Hawkeyes football team, the Badger football team on the road in Iowa City to take on Iowa tomorrow. Becca Alec on the slide, and the Wisconsin block up to the challenge. All of a sudden, the Badgers having a little bit taste of that momentum. C.C. Crawford has to go back and hit a solid serve and keep it in. in. Night after Halloween, and the Badgers looked like they were seeing ghosts earlier in this set. They've got life here, but we're still tied. Franklin, another one. This is just a mental turnaround for Wisconsin at this point. During the start of this set, they looked completely out of it. Dejected faces. I hadn't seen them look that way all season. Now they have some life. Things are starting to click offensively, and that block is lighting up. Some smiles and raised eyebrows. Wisconsin runs on Dunkin' Donuts, but in a lot of great volleyball over the years, in particular in the Kelly Sheffield era, a whiteout for the home crowd here, and Nebraska counters by wearing black. Really a power move for the Huskers, and another sellout crowd in Madison. It will doubtless be one as well when the series returns to Devaney Center later this month. Crawford serves for Wisconsin out of the timeout. A joust at the net. On Wisconsin side, 
Bergen Riley to Alec. Dug by Orgel. What a play. Franklin cross court. It's dug by Rodriguez. Superb. And Landfair smokes one down the line. Point Nebraska. Lexi Rodriguez in the backcourt for Nebraska, doing work to get it up. Wisconsin with a little bit of that of their own. Yulia Orgel, impressive ball just to keep it alive. Then on Wisconsin side, Rodriguez laying out for it. So Taylor Landfair can go up and do work. It's Riley. Carter Booth. Ooh. Swatted over by Rodriguez. <laughs> Another dig by Rodriguez, and Alec finishes the job. Wisconsin thought that Alec reached over and played the ball on Wisconsin side of the net. I mean, regardless, that was just a sick defensive play. I mean, check this out. Almost broken on Nebraska's side, but everyone finds a way to keep it up. And Alec right here, you'll see her reach up, put that ball over. It's a subjective call, you can't challenge it. Franklin out of bounds, but a touch. Point Wisconsin. The precision it takes for Sarah Franklin to go up and barely clip that fingertip. That's what makes her one of the best. Charlie Furbringer. Merrick Beeson off the tape. Carter Booth dug by Riley. Beeson dug by Schumacher. Orgel the pass to Franklin. Off some hands. Murray kept it alive. Not even Rodriguez can save it. It's a point for Wisconsin. Sarah Franklin doing it up against a triple block. This was something Nebraska has not done the entire season, is put three blockers up against an outside attacker. They know, though, the reigning national player of the year is what they got to do it for. She's taken 42 swings tonight. Nearly double what the next player has gotten. That tells you just how unbalanced Wisconsin's offense has been. Furbringer, long, point Nebraska. Every time Wisconsin starts creeping right back up in the set, they have a service error. Whether it's out of bounds or right in the net, Wisconsin keeps killing their own momentum. And Olivia Mauck has been challenging for the Badgers in serve-receive tonight. Sprack hammers that in the middle. The connection between Sprack and Furbringer did not look good for the first two sets. It's really heated up here in set three, getting it a little bit higher. So Sprack is hitting at full extension. Not full extension also is 11-2, so it's tough to get it up there. <laughs> Ooh, what a dig by Franklin. Here's Beeson, blocked. And a point for Nebraska. It lands out of bounds. Sarah Franklin in the backcourt. She can do everything back there. You normally see these offensive highlights, but check that out. Bending in half just to keep this ball alive. Strong shot for Beeson, too, right off the block. Franklin's averaging two and a half digs per set. Far and away a career high for Franklin. But a bad pass there. Free ball coming Nebraska's way. Andy Jackson out of bounds. Point, Wisconsin. It's a good decision for Bergen Riley to try to get the middle going off of that down ball. It just needed to be a little bit closer to the net so Jackson could hit it in front of her head. Schumacher. Over to Beeson. A roll shot dug by Franklin. Here's Spreck. Blocked. Andy Jackson and Harper Murray shut it down. Andy Jackson is not playing tonight. She is going up there with a purpose, whether it's on the offensive side or defensive side. Murray that time getting a piece of it and a little stare down. Oh, we love it. Beeson misfires. Nothing that kills your momentum like a ball right in the bottom of the tape. Both sides have to do a better job staying focused on the back line. It's 
Good rotation for Wisconsin now. Gul J. Guchnikin serves. Franklin in the back row. Guchnikin the dig. Furbringer sets Crawford. That's out of bounds. Point Nebraska. This is a rotation that Wisconsin can struggle in from time to time. You just have Crawford and Orgel up front. You have an option with Franklin in the backcourt, but it's not a strong rotation that they have to get out of right away. And they're really targeting that zone one, Schumacher and right back. Here's Harper Murray. She serves Schumacher as expected. Orgel blocked, kept alive by Furbringer. Orgel blocked again, and Furbringer ready. A third try. Crawford out of bounds. Point Nebraska. That's why you got to stay focused throughout the entire play. Bergen Riley block after block after block, doing work up front to set it up. From the back row. Landfair. Orgel. Tipped up by Riley. Landfair sweeps it over. Orgel out of bounds. Point Nebraska. As you said, the Badgers getting stuck right now. It's been difficult for Wisconsin because they're getting really good looks on defense. The offense just hasn't been able to transition it. Murray to serve again. Nebraska on a 3-0 run. Devin Robinson is checked into the game up front for Wisconsin. Franklin tugged by Choboy. Roll shot, Landfair. Point Nebraska. Everything going Nebraska's way right now. Wisconsin has to find a way to stop this momentum. When the defense is making plays like this, it makes it easy to keep that momentum. Lady Showboy, come on! She's got eight digs tonight. And I know she's one of your favorite players in the country because oh, yeah. of plays like that. It's so fun to watch her just absolutely explode out to the ball. There aren't a lot of players that have the speed and the reaction. Championship in 2017, the Huskers have finished runner-up three times trying to Get back to the promised land in 2024. Guchnik in the dig. Franklin flies in, tugged by Choboy. It's Orgel, cross court, it's in. Point Wisconsin. It's a really good shot from Orzel. She's been trying to hit that high hand shot that hadn't been found because Nebraska's block has been disciplined. This time, switch it up just a little bit more. Hit a sharp shot right inside of it. Now she serves. Orzel with six kills and an ace tonight. Landfair drives the ball for the Nebraska point. What's been so impressive for Nebraska this entire match is it hasn't necessarily been one person taking over. It's been a complete balanced effort across the board. And that's kudos to Bergen Riley, who was setting a phenomenal game, getting every hitter involved. And that's really stressing out the defense for Wisconsin, making them guess. Landfair leads Nebraska with 11 kills. Four serves. Franklin, a roll shot, popped up and sent to Landfair. That's out. Point, Wisconsin. This is where Wisconsin has to dial it in on the end line and serve with pressure to knock Nebraska out of system and let that defense go to work because it's been good for the Badgers so far tonight. Crawford's been big up front for Wisconsin. Six blocks. She serves Choboy. Riley to Murray, who soars in out of the back row and misfires. Point Wisconsin. You can tell how bad Harper Murray wanted that swing. It looked like she put her entire body into it. We'll get another chance. Crawford serving to tie. And Landfair puts it away. 
Taylor Lanfair been so impressive. Started off a little shaky in this match, but man, she has heated up as the match has gone on, hitting better and better shots. Nebraska to 20. Bergen Riley serves. Franklin puts it down. Wisconsin's gonna have to rely on Sarah Franklin in this front court. She is the go-to attacker for the Badgers. They need someone in this big moment to try to catch up and take the set backs against the wall. This is a must-win set for Wisconsin. Badgers on the ropes. Furbringer serves. Landfair in. Point Nebraska. Landfair is just slicing and dicing up front. The precision that it's taking to hit those kind of shots in front of a really big block in front of her makes it just that much more impressive. Landfair finishing the set strong. 13 kills. And Olivia Mouth serves. Furbringer underneath it. Spreck pushed over. Becca Alec ready. A little frustration for the Badgers. This is a point where Wisconsin has got to lock in, get this solid pass. Schumacher in right back, been the target all night. Franklin the target here. Spreck teed up. Beeson off the block. Point Nebraska. Merritt Beeson lethal on the right side, taking over for this Nebraska squad. Franklin, out, match point, Nebraska. One point away from their first win in Madison since 2013. Sprack, out, point, Nebraska. And the Huskers, for the first time in 11 years, Knock off Wisconsin in Madison. And a sweep at that as the number two team in the nation improves to 21 and 1, 11 and 0 in the Big Ten. This was a statement win from Nebraska trying to prove that they are the number one team in the country. They feel like they are, but they've been ranked number two for the last few weeks. This might set them over the edge because this was one of the most impressive wins that we've seen from any team in the country all season. Not just a top 10 win, but a top 10 win on the road. It's a Nebraska team again that, with a young core, went really, really far all the way to the national. I don't know. 